What's going on guys, Flickify here, and in today's tutorial, I have a comprehensive guide on regens in FIFA 16. By the end of this video, you should be able to identify what a regen player is, how to search for one, and as a little treat, I'm going to show you guys Messi and Ronaldo's regen in FIFA 16. If you guys do enjoy these tutorials, leave a like rating below, and drop a comment for what other tutorials you'd like to see in the future. For starters, a regen is a player that's automatically created by the game the season after a player does retire. The created player is going to have the same position and the same nationality as the retired player and often they're going to be playing in the same league or they're going to be in the free agents. And in addition, regen players do vary in age. The range is usually from 16 to 19. We're going to move on now how to search for regen players and the first thing you want to do is find a player that's retiring at the end of the season. So when you click on a player, they should have a status notification along the lines of retiring at the end of the season or you cannot approach a retiring player. There are a couple of parameters that you can set to help find retiring players. And I'd say the average age that a player retires in career mode is right around 36. So if you set your min age to 35, the number of results you get is going to have a high percentage of retiring players. Of course, if you're searching for a particular regen, then you can just search for the player you're looking for and keep checking back to see what season he retires in. Once you've identified a few players that are retiring at the end of the season, you're going to want to advance to the end of the season. And before you move on to the next season, make sure you create a save just a few days before and we're going to use that later on. Once you're in the new season, go ahead and try to search for the player that you believe retired. And if you don't get any results, that's a good thing. That means that the player did successfully retire and you can now try to find the regenerated player. Set the minimum age to 16, the maximum age to 19, the nationality to the same as the retired player and the position also the same as the retired player. The league start off by setting it to the same league that the player retired in and see what results pop up. If all things go well, only one player will pop up for you, and that'll be the regenerated player of the player that retired. You can do a couple of things to make sure that is the regenerated player of the correct person. One, if you know that the retired player had a really high status, and then the regenerated player has potential to be special, that's a good sign. You can also add them to your shortlist and see if their secondary positions do match up with the retired player. If you don't get any players from the search results, go ahead and set the league to the free agents and your regenerated player should be there. Now once you have your regenerated player, go ahead and add them to your shortlist if you haven't already. And what you're going to want to do is check out the weak foot and the skill moves. If it's something you're happy with and you want to advance with this player, go ahead and do so. Try to sign them on a loan deal or buy them. Uh, but if it's something you're not happy with because it is randomly generated by the game, they're not going to match the retired player's skill move in weak foot. Just load up the save that you made and repeat this process until you get results you're happy with. Now you might be wondering what happens when a player retires from a team that you're managing. And to answer that, they're still going to have a regenerated player, but they're going to be in the free agents tab. And so go ahead and put the same criteria in, set the league to the free agents, and you should have your regenerated player in there. To close out this video, I thought I would show you guys Messi and Ronaldo's regen. So we'll start out with Messi's regen. He's 71 rated. Of course, he's the same position as Messi. And his mental and physical attributes are also quite good. Really pacey and some decent strength on him. And he does have really good skill attributes as well. That's something I've noticed with these regenerated players. They have a lot of potential. And of course, if you're getting a regenerated player for someone like Messi or Ronaldo, they're going to reach a really high overall status eventually. But you can see he's only 17 years old. I managed to get one that had 4-star weak foot and 4-star skill moves, which is ideal for me. And then he also had the speedster specialty. Moving on to Ronaldo's regen, he's an 82 rated player, so higher than Messi's regen. And look at those mental and physical attributes, already some of them in the 90s, so absolutely insane right there. And his scale attributes are just as good. I managed to get one that had 5-star skill moves, so that's just something that you have to keep on repeating the process of until you get one that you're happy with. I was happy with this one. And he is a little bit older, I believe he is 19, and he also has the dribbler and acrobat specialties. Overall, finding regens is pretty fun, especially if your favorite player retires, then you get one that it's kind of like a mini prospect to them, and eventually they'll reach the same status. But guys, I hope you found this video helpful and implement this into your own career modes. If you did, make sure you leave a like down below, subscribe if you're new around here, and until the next tutorial or video, this has been Flickify. I'll be talking to you all again soon.